Welcome, shall we observe the sun? New sunspot AR3157 doesn't look like much, but it is very active, almost constantly hurling plumes of plasma into space. Magnetically, sunspot AR3157 is connected to nearby sunspot AR3156. If one goes off, it could trigger an explosion in the other, boosting the odds of a significant flare. I'll be keeping a close eye on this region of the sun the next few days. Up next, shown on the coronal hole map, a large gaping hole in the corona is Earth facing today. Geomagnetic storms are classified using a five-level NOAA space weather scale. The larger and more expansive coronal holes can often be a source for high solar wind speeds that buffet Earth for many days. Because of their potential for escalated geomagnetic activity and possible storm effect leads to G1 geomagnetic storms or higher. Here is a view of the CME activity, observed on the LASCOC2 filter, with the SDO211 filter showing the coronal hole on the sun. Dates November 30 through December 4. For the lunar observers, December 4, the moon is in the waxing gibbous phase. Illumination, 87%. The solar wind speed is currently moderately high, 510.1 km a second. And the disturbance storm time index predicts moderate storm conditions right now, minus 73 nt. Here is the geospace magnetosphere model, showing the current pressure, on the planet's magnetic field that is occurring today. On the left is the top view, and on the right is the side view perspective. This model shows the geoelectric field. The geoelectric field is a measure of the induction hazard to artificial conductors, such as electrical power lines, that results from geomagnetic activity, and can be used to estimate the amount of current induced by integrating along the conducting pathway. In this area, the intensity reached 130 megavolts per kilometer. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. Yeah.